Well, hello and welcome to another episode of My Wife Hates This. I am your host, Josh, and this is... Keith. And we are funny. You haven't actually heard that yet, but we will be. So first, we'd like to thank everyone for joining us. And if you haven't forgotten, please ring that bell because we need all of the people who actually watch this to keep following us and follow us forever. There are sections in your phone where you can hit the settings that allow you to get all kinds of notifications about all the new stuff that we do. And you certainly want that to happen because when you see this, you're going to love it. You'll probably share it with loved ones, but I wouldn't recommend children. Not yet, because <laughs> when we do, you don't want to hear about the crazy yeah, stuff. I don't know so, if I would if I would put your voice in front of my children. I'm no, no. I mean, there's a reason that I'm not allowed in certain school zones or within a hundred feet this of dispensaries. Awkward. Not really. Should I back up? It's not not awkward. You knew it was going to happen. It's, it's kind of awkward. It is. Well, all right, we'll see what happens from well, there. At least we're starting on a positive note. Absolutely. So, I'd like to start with a bit of news today. Have you heard of the coronavirus? I have. Corona with lime? Absolutely. It's, you put it in the lime, in the coconut, Delicious. shake it all up. And so, <laughs> but, um, you know, it's, they're using the word pandemic mm -hmm. because it's on every continent now except for Antarctica, if you did not know. It finally hit South America just yesterday. Did it really? It did. It hit in Brazil. But, thankfully, celebrities are weighing in oh on God. everything. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> like, oh, all right. It's all over the news This is now. how we're starting. We're going to talk Absolutely. about celebrities. Celebrities and the coronavirus. Hollywood celebrities are weighing in on the coronavirus. Gwyneth Paltrow, oh, I'm... my favorite, 47-year-old goop <laughs> entrepreneur, <laughs> joked about her role in the 2011 film Contagion. So not only is she talking about it, she's bringing up a movie where she was the reason that everybody died. Oh, my God. What's that, uh, what's that term? You know <sighs> words. What's yeah. that term that it's it's a word where uh -huh. like because somebody is good at one thing, uh -huh. you 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 believe that they're good at oh, other things. Oh yes, you yes, know what I'm like, yes, I do. And when, why uh, does like when Matt Damon's like, my mom was a teacher, so that makes me an expert on education. Why does anybody listen to any of the oh, words that know. come out of these people's mouth? Do, do you understand? Because they're rich and on TV and their, in movies. But their entire job, their entire profession, is based on being fed words. To recite. Yes. And they to, don't have original thoughts. And they're pretending they, to be someone else the whole time. Correct. So why would you listen to a word that they said about anything? Because she created a vagina scented candle. My point has just been, <laughs> been made. made. <laughs> But the 47-year-old entrepreneur... Wait, that's a real thing? Yes. She made a candle that if you light it up, supposedly smells of whatever... Fish? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Well, this it took, not, took about five minutes. This, this is not you might want to slow, turn that down out there so the stiffs who work with us can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep going. So she kept speaking about herself in the third person, en route to Paris. This was her, her tweets because not only is she talking about it, she's doing it on her social media, Oh, also, which makes her so these totally are Twitter, qualified. These are tweets. Oh, yes, with pictures of her in a black oh, mask to set it up better. where she's covering up everything. Good. And she says, um, en route to Paris. Paranoid, question mark. Prudent, question mark. Panicked, question mark. Placid, pandemic, or propaganda. So she's trying to elude that maybe this isn't real and it's just all propaganda? Yes. She's just going to go ahead and sleep with this thing on the plane, which she was referring to her mask. I've already been in this movie. Stay safe. Don't shake hands. Wash hands frequently. That's her advice. Don't shake hands. Don't meet with people. Did you see that stuff on Amazon where those masks that... Don't do anything, yeah. by the way. They, well, they, well, the CDC wait, keeps wait. telling you... To wear masks, yes. No, but they tell you that it does, that's not actually... That, that's not going to help. You want to cover the eyes, mucous membranes. I don't know what you have to do. The point is, is on Amazon, those masks, yeah. like those surgical cover masks, right? they were selling for like $10,000. Yeah, they've gone up. They, in fact, uh, there's a bunch of companies in the U.S. that are like, that's price gouging, and all those laws mm -hmm. kicked in because they went from costing like five bucks a box to... Right. Five hundred dollars in so, some cases, and so ridiculous I amounts. I, I thought I read this morning that the government is actually getting involved, and Amazon's actually removing vendors that are that are pricing them abnormally from what they would have been priced <laughs> yesterday, right? So they're they're not saying if they were five bucks, right? They're not saying you couldn't charge like seven, eight, or nine, yeah, ten, yeah. right? But ten thousand dollars. Could you imagine? It's like preying on the desperation of sick people. Well, it's okay. Desperation is one word, right? Ignorance is another. another. <laughs> But it, it, people do that in all these weird situations. Every time something goes wrong, there's always those looking to make that extra buck well, off of people's sorrow and right, suffering. Because if you turn the news on, yeah. it doesn't matter what day it is. The world is ending in one way, shape, or form. That's why we're doomsday preppers, aren't you? Yeah. You don't, don't you have a basement full of water? Yeah. I actually bought a flat full of 
emergency food. Yeah, I have. Uh, yeah, I have a bunker. Do you? No, I do. Okay, good for you. Well, it's kind of weird. All right. We got bullets. We got the water. We even got the clothes. Yeah, I have that stuff. Yeah. I don't think you believe me. I do believe you because you're crazy, <laughs> right? So I do believe you. <laughs> and I have pallets of water, and we have canned food. Yeah. I haven't gone so do far. Do you have as like, like a three-day emergency uh, medicine supply? We, Thirty-day backup of other meds? Um, because we're gonna go into a prepper no, thing here. No, but I have I have lots and lots and lots of bullets. Do you? Mm-hmm. You know, when he says that, he looks at me. I have lots of bullets, Josh. And, and he gives me that, that eye. And the cartridges they live in. And the magazines you use. <gasps> I'm glad you didn't call them. it a clip. The clip. Pop, 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 pop. You shoot sideways when you're looking at people. <laughs> what up, mother? No. Yes. Do clearly. you? Yeah. Have we met? <laughs> well, I'm learning all kinds of new things about no, you. I don't move. do any of that stuff. It's stupid. <laughs> That's dumb. No, it's not. It's have, perfect. Have some discipline when you are shooting, holding a firearm. Absolutely, it's called training. Correct. Safety, but don't, you know, don't go movie style. Don't with it. go movie style. <laughs> Please read me the next quote. Absolutely, from, from a brilliant so actor. actress Kate Hudson oh, also goodness. shared a photo of herself on a flight wearing a less heavy-duty green mask, which one of those ones only cost $10,000 now, and she captioned it, Travel 2020, along with a flushed-faced emoji. emoji. So she's, she's talking an emoji while on the planes and worrying about the coronavirus. She's the one in... Uh, um, uh, better, uh, almost Famous. Almost Famous. Kate Hudson, yes. The daughter of Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. Do you think Hawn. when she gets on the plane that they ask her to do the... The mask thing? The, the federal aviation like speech. Right. Hello, everyone. Tray tables. Today is going to be a safety machine. brief mm-hmm. with Kate Hudson. She, she That'd probably, be kind of cool if she did that. Well, if she didn't have a script, I don't know if she could do it. I bet she can remember. You think so? Mm-hmm. Man, that'd be like money we should... I want to find out about that one. And also, Desperate Housewives star Ava Longoria. Desperate Housewives is still a show? No, it's been gone for years. Nobody watched it. Actually, it was pretty popular, wasn't it? I never saw it. Don't they do, like, Rich Housewives of Atlanta now? Aren't, didn't they spin something? It, yeah, most likely. Let that. me ask this question. Go for it. <clears throat> there, what you're telling me is they're still soap operas. Yeah, they have not gone away. You are correct. There's stuff during the daytime and whatever comes on on like CBS at 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. Apparently, I've been employed continuously for too long. Yes. I mean, do you ever have time to go to any of these events where you get to complain about stuff about government? What are those called? Rallies? Yeah. No. I've been too busy working too. Wish no. I could go. If I started complaining about the government, yeah. this, this podcast would last f- Five forever. minutes on YouTube. <laughs> Well, we get kicked off of YouTube first. I mean, where would you like me to begin? Let's save that. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's just hold on on that one before we get down that road. Right. So Ava Longoria posted a video on her Instagram page mm-hmm. telling her 7.7 million followers, mm-hmm. I am shooting in this small town in Italy. I'm nowhere near the north. Thank you for your concerns. So apparently people are worried about her well-being. She's not close to Winterfell? I have no idea. Oh. God. Everybody was calling and texting her and talking about the coronavirus. Nobody was calling and texting her. Yes, they were. I mean, she's saying that everybody was concerned for her well-being and her safety. All right. You ever seen that commercial where the guy walks up the girl to the lady and and she's about to go on a date because everything she reads on the internet is true? And the guy that she's going to go out on a date with is a French model. And he walks up with like his fanny pack and his... Howard from the Big Bang Theory haircut yes. and his giant, you know, glasses. Yes. And he says, bonjour. Bonjour. Okay. Just because it's on the internet doesn't, doesn't make mean it... it's true. I... Do you think she would lie to us? That commercial is propaganda. Propaganda. Oh, boy. No, I don't sure? think she will. Come on. I people... think she just, no. Of all the people in the world we need to worry about, I don't think she's high on my list. She's not high she's on not anyone's high on... list, which is why we should she be talking seven about She has 7.7 million so followers. What? So People what? love her. So, uh. People love her. Oh, did you know that Disney shocks investors as CEO steps down with immediate effect? Good. See, that's what happens when... Uh, when you ruin Star Wars, <sighs> get out. The, he was responsible. He took them from really, really good to really, really great. I'm it sorry. got Marvel. Listen, this is all you have to know. If people are now talking about how the prequels... <laughs> are better than the sequels. Yes. You done effed it up. Right, because those prequels were just... I'm talking about having wooden dolls okay. where people dance around. I what actually it felt like. tolerated 90% of The Force Awakens. 
until, you know, Mary Sue at the end just, you know, destroys the trained Sith guy. Yeah, yes. Because, like it was you know, nothing. Because he was full of the force. Yeah, whatever. Stupid. <laughs> the Last Jedi is probably the worst movie ever made. I don't... It wasn't bad. It's awful. It was not you that ever, bad. You no, ever it seen wasn't. those B-rated movies? All the time. Okay. Yes. Those are better. So you're saying this is Bob Iger's fault? Uh, he's All the boss. The he, he is hired, the boss. He hired... But they made billions of He hired of Kathleen Kennedy. Kathleen every Kennedy, yes. Movie, listen, every movie that they made after The Force Awakens made mm-hmm. less money than the one before. I'm sorry. I'm not interested in the social justice warrior crap that no, was in No, just give Last me Jedi. good old-fashioned Star Wars. Seriously. I want to fight with lightsabers. I want the Force. Okay. I want the Josh, Sith. There was a scene in that movie where Luke Skywalker milks an alien sea cow. Into his mouth. Get <laughs> out of here. So Bye, Bob. Too. Don't Ugh. let the door hit you on the way out, idiot. Oh, but Bye. he's still going to be involved. Get out of Did here. Did you know? In addition to his duties in leading the board, he will spend more time Great. on Disney's content platforms, including ESPN Sports. Fine. And Terrible. the newly acquired Fox Studios and Hulu and Disney Plus streaming services. Fine. So they got him out of the movie business. Great. They've just got him on all of the TV stuff. Awesome. I stopped watching ESPN like 10 years ago. They don't <sighs> even cover sports anymore. It's just politics. He added roughly $71 billion. Dollars, whatever, to their bottom line. Great under his yeah. tenure. I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty good effort. Could have been much, much more. <sighs> Had you not, man, you are you have strong feelings on the Star Wars thing. That must have been, like it was part of our childhood. We're about the same age. Yeah, and it everything. I I wanted to be a Han Solo. I wanted to be Luke Skywalker. Okay. And then they killed off Han. In, they killed Han in one brilliant stroke by complete and utter morons. <laughs> you invalidated. The entirety of the first six movies Kathleen in one movie decision. Yes. In a single decision. Kathleen Kennedy says that they couldn't figure it out useless. because there was no canon to follow. And I'm like, what about the it 400 hard, novels? It must be hard to write. Yeah. That's your <sighs> job is to hire people to write. You really hated The Last Jedi that much? It is the worst movie ever made by a human being. It was, wow. And I don't even consider Roundhead a human being anymore. And the thing that actually bothers me... Tell, do tell. The guy actually has talent. You ever watch Breaking Bad? Yes. Okay, Ozymandias. The the second to last episode, Ozymandias. Yes. Okay. When Walt like goes. Yep. Right, and he he tells yeah. the story to Skyler. Yeah. Right on the phone, it's super emotional, and he's he's trying to cover for her, and so he's like crying because he yeah. he took the baby. Yep. Right, and he's on the phone. I told you to do these things. He's trying to cover for her. Yeah. Right, because he knows the police are there listening. Roundhead directed that episode, and then he goes and he makes that. Get out of here. I don't know. Everybody do weird. They do weird things for paychecks. Why do you have to ruin stuff? I- Man, you, we should have an entire Star Wars episode where we just break this down. We'll you, bring in our double feature other, people. You know that other podcast that we do with, yes. with the twins? Yes, we're the one that's successful. <laughs> <laughs> the one that people watch. Right, and actually pay attention to. Yes, I'm aware of it, yes. They, don't, they, they won't let me on that show. Why not? Because they like those movies. I'm calling them out now. It's like going to be a crossover. We're going to call it yeah. My Wife Hates Double Feet. No, no. My no. Wife Doesn't Hate Double Feature. No, actually, people love Double Feature. Whatever they're doing, we're going to copy that. All the way. I'm not going to copy that. I'm not rescinding my position. All right, whatever. It's Who do you fans. think you are? I don't know. So, also a news last mo- not last news story. Oh god. A Michigan man stabbed with samurai sword after not buying pot for his partner. <laughs> I can't, Wait, I can't write this stuff. Wait, some dude stabbed his partner. So with a samurai sword, a katana. I have katana in my office. Which is why we avoid your office. <laughs> Every time you're in there, we just kind of see you sitting with the sword. It's like, what? Actually, that's okay. a little bit of an ex- but So was it because... He didn't buy a pot. He wouldn't buy it? Like, he wouldn't pay for it? He wouldn't drive down to the local dispensary? they have dispensaries in Michigan? Most likely. I think they did. Um, it, yes, I think they have. I'm not sure. We'll check that one. We'll ask the producer. Somebody if, who lives in Michigan yeah. that's watching this show. Tell us if, they, probably, if you can buy pot there. Because in Colorado. This would be an interesting deal. Absolutely. If there's a single person in Michigan that's watching your podcast. They'll let us know. Please let us know. Everybody will know. People watch this thing. Actually, you could probably tweet at Eva Longoria and see if she can answer <gasps> it for you. I hope she's okay. She said I really she worry about her. 
But a Michigan ga- Michigan here we go. Michigan man was stabbed after not buying pot for his partner. Uh, the, he was attacked by the samurai sword wielding partner last month after he allegedly did not buy marijuana for the suspect. Ne- <laughs> there is I have just been told there is pot that can legally be sold in Michigan. Police were called to the scene around noon on January 16th when they found the victim smoking a cigarette while holding a bloody towel to his side. He suffered multiple stab rooms, and that's when he said, uh, my boyfriend uh, decided to attack him for failing to buy a marijuana with a sword. I don't understand how you want me or why you want me to comment on that. Why not? Because... This is the news of the day. This is the most important things that come across the wire. I have access to that whole AP wire, yeah. and this one sticks out. And these are the things that you picked. Yeah, I'm not going to – what do you want me to have on there? Like um, Democrat debates go bad or uh, Broncos can't win a football game? The Cincinnati Bengals suck? The Cincinnati Bengals do suck. Whatever. <laughs> they do suck. Whole new I, season next year, buddy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> they're yes. going to be like, they're going to go 8-8. Eight and eight. <laughs> They're so bad. Okay, this is all you have to understand. Oh, tell me. This is all. I understand you're a Bengals fan. It's rumored. So I get, I try not to I, I get tell that, people. that you're a closet masochist. I understand that. I hate. <laughs> right? It's been but rough. your coach, your coach. Is number benched. one. He benched uh-huh. your starting Starter. quarterback. Yes. Look, Andy Dalton's not – he's probably not an NFL Hall of Famer. Probably not. But he's half, not a top the, 10. half the teams in the league yes. would prefer Andy Dalton as their starter to Absolutely. the one that they – to the mess that they have. Absolutely. Probably the Broncos included. Like if it was – Yes. If, if it was just – like you didn't have to worry about the trade and like just all mm-hmm. things are equal. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. So that guy is benched. Yes, in for favor some for other loser. Yeah, a rookie. That kid is terrible. It was awful. It wasn't even close. It, like Johnny Manziel is probably better than that guy. Yes, I would even say um, an old John Elway at this point would be as just as good. <laughs> oh, poor John Elway. Poor Johnny. <laughs> um, yeah, poor John Elway. Yeah, uh, with his so, millions of dollars. Yeah, so the Bengals are terrible. So mm-hmm. then they lost however many games in a row. Uh, How many I, weeks did it go before they finally won a game? Like eleven ish. Okay, so they were. Let's say they were zero and eleven, zero and twelve, something like that. So it was. It was a rough start. Okay, who was the starting quarterback when they won their first game? Andy Dalton. Oh my goodness. I know. And did the rookie quarterback get hurt? No. Or did the coach just get told by the owner, "We do not have to go zero and sixteen." If you would just play the best player at the position. Right. So clearly they were trying to fight for last place. They wanted that draft pick. So they could replace Andy Dalton. Mad geniuses. And this is why I very much appreciate that the Cincinnati Bengals are in the AFC North. Oh, God, the Pittsburgh because, Steelers. Because, because he's a Steelers fan. It's like Browns, we're diametrically opposed forces. Because the Browns, so like the Bengals are guaranteed to allow the Steelers to have two wins. And then the Browns, wow. it's like 90%. Because sometimes sometimes they tie. And they split with Baltimore. So sometimes already, they tie. How many years in a row did the Steelers win the AFC North? I don't think it was actually like, I don't think they've actually won consecutive like tons of years it's been a lot though but they've won a lot right but they they've basically been going back and forth with the ravens yes since for the last 20 which i thought they were the team to beat and then they just get smoked but the the steelers i mean the steelers have gone two years in a row without making the playoffs which is which is kind of weird for them but last year was you know i'm just telling myself it was an anomaly yeah, I'm right. just when you, yeah, every sorry, time like, I watch them lose. Because I've got nothing to root for with the Bengals. All they do is root for the Steelers to lose. <laughs> well, That's all I've got left. I mean, okay. Yeah. Well, I am going to, yeah, I, I am. You going, going to any games I'm, this year? Yeah. Which ones? Two of them. Uh, I'm going to go see the Steelers play the Broncos in Pittsburgh. Nice. Because that'll be fun. Yeah. And then um, I'm going to Tennessee, to Nashville, to watch Steelers play. Nice. Nashville. That'll actually be a lot of fun. Two yeah, great stadiums. Uh, Never been to Heinz Field. You haven't been to Heinz One Field? of the goals my wife and I have always had, and she actually likes this, mm-hmm. which is kind of crazy, is we want to go to every single stadium and watch a football That's game. That's a cool goal. And uh, so far we've gone to um, a Broncos game. Mm-hmm. We've gone to a Buffalo Bills game. In Buffalo? In Buffalo. Was it snowing? No, it was actually warm the two times we nice. went, like really warm. Okay. Actually, I take that back. The first time it kind of did snow, but then the sun came out. Okay. And then um, next on our list, which is hopefully this year, will be Dallas. And then I want to hit Himes Field. Uh, and I wanted, I'm thinking we're going to hit that new Las Vegas one maybe this year for oh, yeah? the Raiders. 
So we'll see what we can get through this year. I noticed year. that you didn't mention what, what what would be the name of the Bengals field? Does anybody does it's called Paul Brown Stadium? I was oh, actually say Paul Brown. I, we've actually been to Paul Brown. That was the other one. We've been to two Bengals games. Okay. Which they've actually won, but that was several. Can years you do ago. the icky shuffle? Uh, no, I don't have uh, what we call talent or rhythm, mm-hmm. and that's that's what really stops me. It was kind of like a back to the side and see they actually want to. Doesn't matter. The bottom line is, is that we're going to go to every football stadium in the country, and That's I want to cool hit goal. up. Uh, is it still Candlestick? What's the San Francisco? No, it's not Candlestick anymore. Shows you how old I am. Yeah, I don't. I forget. It's pro- it's probably some bank. Yeah, right. They're all corporate. But it's names. not even. It's not the same site. I don't That's even know what the Bunko Stadium name is. Uh, uh, Empower? Empower. Empower. Empower Field. Empower Field at Mile. Right. I don't even know what Empower is, but they've got a lot of money to blow on that. Well, yeah, I think the last three advertisers for the field have gone bankrupt. Yeah, all three of them. And this one, <laughs> Vesco. <laughs> so great. The Broncos. <laughs> Sorry if you like the Broncos. Well, we're, we're not going to any games now. Well, I mean, you can go. <laughs> I'm not going to go, but you can go. Well, you're going to have me we cover have, it. Look, I'll be there. We have tons of Broncos fans in this office. Oh, yeah. Tons oh, yeah. Of them. And when they find out that we're going to be going to these things, they're going to They're going to want to go. Of course they will. We actually have season tickets. What? We have we have season tickets for what, the Broncos. What, why was this never mentioned? Uh, no one asked. It's part of the Cool Kids Club, and I have never been told about them. Which let's put two and two together here. Uh, I've never used them. Actually, that's not true. I've used them once. Have you? Yeah, because we went and watched the Steelers. <laughs> <laughs> so we were all dressed right. in Steelers, and they lost. Ben <sighs> freaking threw an interception to the nose tackle. I remember from that the game. one yard, and yeah. Xavier Gim- Gimble yeah. fumbled the ball out of bounds. In he was running in for a touchdown, and he was doing this oh, like a moron. That's right. And he threw the ball out of bounds. I mean, oh my god! Touchback. The Is guys behind me, <laughs> the guys behind me, and the guys in front of me—they're oh. just jerks. I hate it when I'm in a game. No, you... <laughs> because I would do the same thing. It doesn't mean I like them, yeah. right? And I didn't punch them, and they didn't punch me. But my goodness, that was just embarrassing. Oh. And then you have to walk out of the stadium. Yeah, with that's a the bunch worst. Of is, and they're You're just walking out with a bunch dicks. of people, and they're just yeah, they're excited and they're right. happy because their team and won. they're pointing at you, loser, you suck, and it oh. makes you want to hurt them. That's why I'm going this year. Yeah, in in but I'm Pittsburgh. going in Pittsburgh. Yeah. That way you can wear the hometown colors. So when anyways. they lose to the Broncos, you're not going to have to worry about that loser's limp on the way out. It, well, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I hope so. I don't know. I hope it's just a good season. I'm just glad the Patriots didn't make it this year. Who, Who is – oh, man, the Patriots. We could go all day into them. Tom Brady, even he wants out. He's like, we've cheated so much, I've got to get out of here. What's the difference between the Patriots and the Astros? Uh, I don't know. Nothing. <laughs> uh, uh, except, you know, maybe the Patriots – That well, there is one. The Astros got caught. So the Patriots. No, no, I don't times. think they've been really caught caught. Yeah. No. Tom Brady was suspended no. for four games. For Deflate Gate? Cheater. Cheater. Whatever. Cheaters, cheaters. I actually cannot believe that baseball thing. It's unreal. I mean, to know those kind of signals, to just blatantly hit trash cans as the pitch is coming no, in no, in most so, of those games. So I was listening to, was it yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday morning? I think I was listening to the radio. So I've sort of like tangentially followed it. True. And once the story first came out, I, I thought the, the thing that I would do like as an athlete, yeah. the, the thing that where my mind went was... Okay, they cheated. Like, and you and I saw the videos and I heard the sounds and you know because people cut to, cut it together like bang bang right. And yeah, they yeah, put yeah, their yeah. Words in it. I actually turned to my wife and I said, "This is not something that she hates, by the way. Maybe it is. I've no I idea. don't know. Yeah. But I actually said to her, I said, as a pitcher for an opposing team, you just cost me hundreds of thousands, if not millions, millions of, of dollars. dollars. Yep. Because baseball contracts are guaranteed. I know, right? It's money in your pocket. So if you're if you're in the the big leagues, right, mm-hmm. and you're pitching and you you can't get guys out in Houston, yeah, right, right, your they know stats, what's coming. Your stats are affected. Absolutely. Okay. So I said to her, some player who believes they were adversely affected is going to sue. Sue the crap. And out it of happened. Yep. I right? forget his name. I think he was a Yankees pitcher. Yeah. Um, and he, yeah. But he's in that game. He was directly sent down to the minors. But based listen, on it. listen to this. So this is what I heard yesterday. I'll probably, I think I'll get it mostly right. They, they, somebody, somebody, maybe at ESPN or or somebody, they did a study. They actually broke down pitch by pitch, mm. game five oh, of the really? World Series, really? where Clayton Kershaw was pitching. You know, Clayton yeah. Kershaw. Good luck. The, right. 
right? <laughs> right? He's not some average pitcher. No, like he's the guy that one that of we, the top. He's top look, tier pitcher. We see Clayton Kershaw all the time because the Rockies and the Dodgers play all. We see yeah. him all the time, and Several he's times a year. he's filthy. You can you <laughs> the Rockies. You might as well just. You might as well just okay. Yeah, that's not gonna work. This today, great player. Today is not gonna right. be our day, right? right? right Nolan right. Arenado may get a couple of hits, right? But they're gonna strike out a, a million times. There's only 27 outs total, I think, in a game. As long as they're not tied, right? But they're gonna strike out a million times. Right. That's how good he is. Okay, so but, they did this analysis. Yeah. And they actually found he threw 51. I think this is right. 51 sliders or off-speed curveballs. He's got two, I think, no, he's got one curveball okay. and then a slider. Okay. And his slider is a wipeout slider. Sure. Like, nobody hits it. Right. The thing just spins like nobody a Nobody hits it, right. right? 51 times, the Astros zero times swung and missed. You're kidding. He threw 51 sliders, Whoa. right, off-speed curveballs. Really? And not a single Astros player Took a swung swing. and missed. Holy crap. Do you want to know why this, is, in my mind, is such a big deal? Go for it. If the only thing as a hitter you have to wait on yeah. is a fastball, you're good to go. Absolutely, because most of his pitches are going to be outside the box on you if anyway. If he's throwing a wipeout slider and you know it's coming, right? then you don't have to move. Don't you don't have out. to change your – I don't even – I'm don't not have even to go good at your, baseball. Yeah. Right? I'm not saying I can hit the ball. What I'm saying is if I don't have to worry – Mm-hmm. About about whether or not I have to dissect an off speed pitch versus a fastball, sure, and I can just sit on the fastball because once the count goes two and two, three and two, yeah, you just wait for right? the two to come in. You're walking. What, he, what are you going to do? Throw another wipeout slider and have it hit the dirt and walk you? No, he's got to throw a fastball. Did those? I would like to know if those batters even went through their progression through the swing because if I don't they know. knew that was coming and. Man, I'd, I'd but you wouldn't have that. to change your approach. You would no. like you don't have to swing defensively. Mm-mm. When you watch, when you watch them, it's amazing. I, I'm not a huge baseball fan, but yeah. I always watch the playoffs. Yeah, and then I'll watch the Rockies. Sure. But what they do, like when they get into certain counts and the, and yeah. and, the, and the way that batters have to keep themselves alive to try and you know get 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 into a favorable hitting position. If you don't have to worry, because you know that ball is not a strike, because it never is. His slider is never a strike, but it's always, always a strike because people swing right. and miss. Absolutely. Woo, that's some drama right there. 51 pitches. Just, and not a single... S- not a single swing and miss. Wow. I mean, they... Mm, mm. That's Patriot-level cheating right there. That is. That's some, that's some stuff. Not a single <laughs> swing on that. <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't know, our producer is Lamar, and he is a avid Patriots fan. We don't In know fact, why. Even at our Christmas party, he wore a Patriots onesie. Was that correct? It, it, yeah, what, the it answer is yes. So, and uh, he's saying something about some rings he's got around the bathtub at home, yeah. and it's just some sort of dirt Gross. that makes over there. You know, I would only bring Use that the up. Scrubbing bubbles. Come, come on, right man, up. clean it up. Clean it up. Come right out. Clean it up. That game. All right. Well, here he goes. Anyway. Yeah. So I had a thing happen just last night, and. It drove me nuts. This isn't something my wife hates, but it really drove me nuts. So I have this cat, all right? We don't have kids. We're trying very hard. You have a cat? I have a cat. Her name is Emmy. She's the E-double-M-E. Uh, we've kind of given her a persona, and uh, she's kind of gangsta. And about 1.30 in the morning, I hear this caterwauling. It just... And she does that because she wants to play with us at 1.30 in the morning. Mm-hmm. I went and locked the cat up because it's 1.30 in the morning. I'm tired. Okay. But as soon Was as I did... Was your idea that by locking the cat up, it would stop making whatever that noise was that you I was hoping made? it was so far across the house that I wouldn't hear it as much, and oh, I'd go right it. back to sleep. Got it. Okay. All right? Continue. But the wife, on the other hand, yeah. believed that was rather cruel and unusual punishment. So she decides to open the door and actually give the cat what the cat wants is like 15 to 30 minutes of playtime in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. Just encouraging the cat Mm -hmm. at every night now to start going in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. Correct. And it, oh, but I'm the bad guy for wanting to lock up the cat. Of course you are. And I'm always wrong. Why am I always wrong? Because you're the husband. Get used to it. Just, what is it going to be like this forever? Yeah. It is? Yes. By the way, right, if you have a cat yes. and that cat is making noise at 1.30 in the morning, because yes. one of the things you just got done saying was you and your wife are trying to have kids, which is yes. awesome, yes. right? So when you have a kid, uh-huh. if you if your kid gets up at 1.30 in the morning, like, uh-huh. they will... Can I lock it up in a room no. and just walk away? 
Well, maybe you can. It's not right. But you'd probably get in trouble. CPS don't. Yeah. Just kidding. Um, so what I was saying was after the point where they have to eat you know, yes. like every couple of hours mm-hmm. and they start to be able to last a little bit longer, mm-hmm. you would actually, you're, you're actually failing in your parental training no. by what? rescuing the cat at 1.30 in the morning. Because when you and your wife have kids, yes. your first kid, yes. right? When your kid gets laid down for bed and he or she starts crying, yes. if you go in there, yes. let's say the kid cried for five minutes. Uh-huh. If you walked in there after five minutes, you would teach the kid that all they have to do is Cry. scream for five minutes and you will show up. Got it. Right? Okay. So then you push it to six. Yes. And you push it to 10, and they yeah. don't stop screaming. Then it's an hour, and you have to be willing to sit in the living room while your wife is in tears because all she wants to do is go upstairs and pick up the kid. Nope, can't do it. Because as long as it takes them to get you to come up, mm-hmm. they'll do it. You're and then what happens is they'll go an entire night screaming, and then the next <sighs> night... Will they sleep? Because... You just said, you just showed them yes. that I'm not interested in your behavior. I'm not going to reward you. So all I have to do Josh, is lock kids up. It's a cat. It's a cat, First yes. First of all, it shouldn't be in your house. Well, hold on, hold on. Second I love kids. Second of all, right, if and when your wife becomes pregnant. By the way, mm. it'll be your wife, not you. It's not like <laughs> we're pregnant. No one I don't think I've ever said, we're, we're, we're pregnant. pregnant. No, no, my, my wife's, wife's pregnant. pregnant. I knocked her up. I'm still drinking caffeine and yeah. drinking beer. Yeah, and having a good time. You roughly. know, I mean, smoking cigars. <laughs> what you got to do? Eating sushi, <laughs> cold cuts. Right. Like a turkey, In front of her, a nom, turkey nom, sandwich. Nom, nom. Right? They can't have like, cold cuts? Don't ask your wife when she's pregnant to make you a turkey sandwich. It's a real... That's a thing? That's a low blow. <laughs> right? And Sounds then like, like experience. And then, and then when you go out to eat, like, yeah. don't order sushi. Don't be that guy. <sighs> we don't really eat sushi anyway, but okay, yeah. Well, that'll work out. Yeah. There's like a lot of dietary switch. Anyways, yeah, off yeah, topic. Yeah, okay, right? okay. All right. So mm-hmm. I'm just telling you, number one, you shouldn't have a cat in your house, right? Number two, right, you're, you are, you're, not, you're not failing yeah. parental training, right? Because I'm not a huge fan. I was just going to lock the thing up and walk away. I'm not a huge fan of giving out Fs. Yeah. Right? But yes. that comment you just made, that's F-worthy? What? That I have a cat or that I locked it up? Yes, both. The answer is true. God, this is rough. Right? But it's, you're sort of like getting a C. Because the challenge for you is not the fact that the cat is making noise. Mm. Right? It's that you haven't figured out how to communicate with your wife, right, the value of not giving the cat... What it wants. What it wants the moment that it wants it. Because it's just right? going to turn into drama. Because No, because look, it, it's only going to get harder when it's a kid. Yes. Right? Yes. The urge, you're not a, you're not a parent. When you, no. it, there's, a, there's, there's something that just changes, right? And it, it actually physically hurts. Yeesh. Right? Yeesh. It physically hurts. So just as the guy, yeah, right? yeah, as the yeah, husband, yeah, like, yeah. It, yeah. it's not fun listening to my, my daughter scream. I bet. Right? It's astronomically harder for my wife. I can only imagine. But you have to practice having the conversation, right? Because if you want to ever get back to having a normal life, yes. where you're not getting up at 1.30, right, to play with the cat, right? <sighs> Just You better figure it out. Yeah. Right? As much anyway. as your wife hates it, right? You shouldn't have a cat in your house. Have you ever argued with your wife about what to have for dinner? Because that's... Because we haven't been married as long as you, I think. We're still uh, kind of in the newlywed phase. Okay. So, No. No? No. Was We've never argued about what to have for dinner. Do you cook or does she cook? She cooks. Really? I will, No, yes, she cooks. All right. So I left the house this morning. Right? Yes. There was food in the crock pot that she was making. Oh. Right. So I will come home. The only time I cook is when, when she wants me to grill something. Ah, okay. So you're the grill master too because mm-hmm. that's when I get I'm employed. I'm the grill master. Yes. Yeah. We're having steaks or burgers or mm-hmm. whatever it may be, and she won't touch the grill. She won't even get near it. She hates the grill. Yeah, my wife doesn't like the grill. What is it? Is it the heat? Is it the smoke? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just I don't know. I don't know. they never figure it out. It's fine. But it's no, we, we don't argue about, about that. At all. Wow. No. Lucky for you. What yeah, about, I mean, uh, have you ever had that conversation where you're like, what do you? What restaurant do you want to go to? Yeah. Does that one get, that, conversation that, that one actually will cause like... <laughs> 
Well, uncomfortable issues okay. at times. So I'll tell you a story. We on Saturday, my wife had a show. She's a violinist. Ah, she's actually talented. Yeah, she's very talented. She's a she's a rock star. Right. So she has a show. Mm. Right. So I've got the kids. Mm-hmm. Right. She's gonna go to the show. Her mom and her sister show up, and then her mom and her sister at the show or with you. They show up at the house to pick up. Pick her up and take her. Got it. Okay. Right. So they carpool up yeah. to Boulder for the show. Sounds like fun. Yeah, it was great. Um, so Veronica says to me, she, she she has to take her car, but we have two kids, so it, there's a seat on either side yeah. in the back seat. Right. Mom, right? dad, and the two in the back. So she says to me, she says, "Can you help me take out the base of the seat?" Of my son's seat mm-hmm. because it has these like weird clips on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. They make them pretty complicated. And she says, I can't. Uh, she's like, I'm not able to push the release button hard enough to, to generate enough slack. I'm like, I understand, right? It's absolutely. They're meant to be tight. Right. Right. right and, yeah, I, yeah. and they yeah. are extremely yeah. tight you because they're my out. kids. Hell yeah. Right. So I've made it extremely right. tight. So I say to her, it's easier to get the base out of the back of my car than out of the back of your car. Uh oh. Would you like to just take my car? Was right? that the wrong thing to offer? Probably. <laughs> Half of, 90% of what I say is probably wrong. Right. So I just don't know which 90%. Yeah. <laughs> just keep guessing. <laughs> okay. It's like rolling dice so, sometimes. So she's standing in the, the doorway, yeah. and her sister and her mother are in the garage. Yeah. Right? And so I'm, I'm waiting for her to respond. Yeah. And I know that in her head, she's trying to figure out whether or not I want her to take my car. I don't care. Yeah, right. It's just the car. Right? It's going to take me five seconds, regardless of which one of these cars you want me to remove the seat from. Okay. Okay. I All promise right. that's right. a point. Yeah. So I ask her I'm again, waiting. would you like to take my car? Uh-oh. All right. And she pauses, right? And me being the th- this is probably one of the things she hates. I just said, honey, it's a binary question. Yes or no? Oops. <laughs> wow. It's a yes or no. Answer it. Wow. You said to, that to her? To her credit. I wasn't mean when I said <sighs> yeah, it. Yeah, I know, but, but it it's doesn't kind matter. of a jerk thing to say. Sure. And, I, and as soon as I said it, I realized, oh, her sister's right. here Ooh, and, and her mom. mom is here. <laughs> so her sister kind of chuckled a little bit. And, and then my <laughs> wife goes, I want to take my car. Perfect. Okay. That was yes. Cool. Okay. So the original question you asked me was, <laughs> have you ever had that conversation about a restaurant? All oh, the time. time. Oh Would you like to go out to right. eat? Where? 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 Right. What do you like? I don't know. But we we do know now, right? So like we've we've been together long enough that you got a place that you guys go to, that we go a to. local haunt that you're like, yeah, we'll just go to this yeah, one all the time. There are certain places that, that we used to go to a lot. Um, and then one of the things that was really interesting is like my dietary restrictions have changed over time. Like for some reason, my favorite food on earth when I was a kid was honey nut Cheerios. Oh, solid. Know, with yeah. milk. Yeah, with milk. Classic I breakfast. I can't have milk anymore. <sighs> when we were in Italy, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I could have milk and cheese. No problem. No problem. No problem. Come back to America. Nope. <laughs> Not a chance. That's a shame. It's a processing thing, I think. Could be. It has to do with lactase or something like that. I don't know. How the body, you know. But it, milk still has lactose in it if yeah. you're in Europe. Yeah. I think it's the way that we manufacture. It's probably the we, hormones. It's the stuff that we do yeah. here. Anyways, when my wife, um, when we had both of the kids, right, yeah. her, you know, their, your, their hormones changed a ton. Right? I could only imagine. And so she then, she can't have gluten anymore. What? Right. And Did so, her hair color change? Um, I've heard that one. I don't know if her hair color changed. Right. You just always tell them it's beautiful. That's the one thing it's I've learned. Always it's beautiful. always beautiful, babe. It's I love always you. Beautiful. No, it's perfect. It's always right. beautiful. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah. yeah, so her diet, dietary restrictions. So we used to go to Bonefish. Bonefish Grill. Bang Bang Shrimp. Yeah. Now Only 50% of us can have Bang Bang Shrimp anymore. <laughs> so this is one of those things where it's really rude to order something that I know that she is a huge fan of, but she can't eat it. Yeah. But the interesting thing is the, I, um, she probably feels the same way about, you know, when she orders dessert, cause she can have dairy. Like she's like, let's get some ice cream, ice cream. Yeah. Cheesecake Uh, for Valentine's day. We went out to eat and her dessert was pot de creme. I have no idea what that is, Yeah, but it looked good. It has creme in it. Yeah. Looked delicious. That's French for 
gonna dirty. hurt you. Oh! So she she ate it right, um, and I told her she was like, "Well, I can order something else." I'm like, no, just get your dessert. You get your yeah. food. Mm-hmm. That's, that's one of those things. But yes, we've we have restaurants that we can go to because she kind of knows. This, what you can have there, and you have can have, have there. Stuff here, and I kind of know she can't really right. have stuff here. But it's, you know, she's um, she's actually going to be out today doing some things for uh, for OC and Eats, pimping OC and Eats. <gasps> Ooh, if you guys haven't checked that out, Larry Hers, go you know visit that on our community. Yeah, com. There's a, plenty of things out they're there. They're doing the, uh, the next episode of Restaurants Near You. Yeah, near, near, yeah, near me. Near yeah, you. restaurants near you, you. I think is what it's called. Yes, yeah. Sir. So they're in Arvada. Ooh, today. Ooh. So my wife is going to go. And eat some and have deliciousness. Some food with Larry. Heck yeah. She's all excited. I bet. I, Larry, if you guys have not seen what he does, he gets some incredible f- eats sometimes that are just and he's an blows amazing, your He's an amazing chef, too. Yeah. I mean, so the he guy makes can like, throw down. He makes gluten free lasagna. Really? And, and brings it into the office for Veronica. What so at the Christmas party yeah, where yeah, you yeah. mentioned this guy that's our producer was wearing, wearing that ugly the Patriots ugly, onesie. disgusting yes. onesie that he was wearing. Yes, right? we try not to hold it against at him. At the holiday party, mm-hmm. Right, <laughs> my wife just sat next to Larry. Really, just having conversations with him about food. <laughs> so yesterday, <laughs> so yeah, yesterday I had a conversation with the with the video group. Right, and yeah. they were they were talking about their plans for for the for episode today. they're shooting yeah, yeah. today. And and uh, and and Martin says to me, he's like, well, you know, just go talk to Larry and you know have have your wife reach sure. out to Larry. So I went into the meeting. You were in the meeting. It was that the thing you guys were doing, whatever you were doing yeah, yesterday yeah, yeah. morning that I completely skipped because that's yeah. what I do. Yeah. I know. Um, you know, things that you hate, <laughs> things my wife hates. <laughs> <laughs> things my boss hates. That's <laughs> the next one. So, <laughs> What's this meeting about? Exactly. <laughs> okay. So I went in there and I remember I turned to Larry and, yeah. I, and I said, you know, you know, my wife will, go, would, will meet you if you can reach out to her. And Larry's comment to me was, yeah, I have her phone number already. <laughs> Zing, <laughs> zing! It's a low blow, man. <laughs> I know that one's right in the old blow. kisser, as it were. It's a low blow. <sighs> My wife's wife's favorite restaurant is I don't know, and I'm hungry. Where do you want to go? I don't know. <sighs> How about a hamburger? I don't know. How about pizza? I don't know. One of the things that I love about my wife, yes, right, that I realized very early when we started dating, uh-huh. is that is not how she approaches food. Really? Nope. Because we kind of have to go through a list, you know. I got to kind of feeling her out. She's like, she'll say things like, "I kind of had that last week." She won't eat the same thing twice in a row, and I, I don't care. I mean, I'll have oh, yeah. food constant the same. I'll have pizza three days a week. I don't care. But beans and rice oh, and Cholula. Oh, dude, that's actually a hell of a snack. I've had that before. It's easy to make. My wife just looks at me. What is wrong with you? Right. Again, how it's much loaded time, with gluten. How I can't much eat time that. Do you have? <laughs> but no, she's never. I mean, I would throw out a, a restaurant, and she would throw out a yeah. restaurant. Like, no problem. She right. doesn't do that whatever you want thing. Sure. I mean, I will ask her. When it comes to food, she always has an answer. That's nice. The one thing we always agree on is Five Guys burgers and fries. That's good. It's fantastic. That's good. It's expensive. Have you been to a Five Guys lately? Uh, no, not Best lately. $9 hamburger you'll ever buy. Well, where where can you go that where a hamburger isn't $9? Actually, I think we've spent more at a McDonald's before, especially yeah. when you start ordering the big meals and you get all the right big fries and the drink. Do you remember when a Whopper meal? I don't go to McDonald's, Burger yeah. King. Okay. Do you remember when a Whopper meal used to be five bucks? I was gonna say it was like four or five dollars. Yeah, and I was pretty young at the time. I was like nine. Right, and you'd walk in, and my dad would start complaining. He's like, "Burgers are up to two dollars now." You know. Is that how it would sound? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I had to go to my old man voice because <laughs> we sound exactly the same. Things my wife hates, hates. my old man, man voice. voice. Yeah. <laughs> Are those voices you do drop on her when I'm like, well, that doesn't sound very smart, babe. My, uh, my choices yeah. in television shows to watch. Anyways. And yes. Where was I at? I don't but know. But yeah, we my dad would always food. complain that, you oh. know, burgers were two bucks and now you're walking into restaurants and... You know, I think McDonald's, have they scrapped the dollar menu? Have you seen that? I don't think they've scrapped the dollar menu. Okay. I was going to say, that might still, but... I think you can get a chicken nugget for a dollar. Well, at least one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I think only one. You know, it's just... I have no idea. Food is so expensive, and now, you know, it sounds like there's a minimum wage in restaurants. Why tip? I mean, they're already getting paid a gazillion dollars an hour now, aren't they? Do you remember what we talked about earlier? Which was, don't say things that I shouldn't mention on the air because I don't know what I'm talking about? No. Or was it the... No. Which one? When you nothing. That's a great comment. Yes. Oh. True story. Yes. Shouldn't go there. Are these things that your wife hates? <sighs> she hates that. Yeah. She. 
It's just the things I do and In say. In general. <laughs> right? Yeah. There's times that she grabs her head my and she's wife, like... My wife really <sighs> loves me outside of when I'm talking or yes. moving. Dressing. Yeah. She loves it when I do things for her, though. It turns out that if one does the dishes and laundry, that's like marital porn right there. They live for it. Did you just refer to yourself as one? One what? You the just one? said... When one does the dishes. Yeah, when one of us does the dishes. The other one thinks it's like marital but That's not porn. what you meant. What you meant was when I do the dishes, yes. my wife really, really respects me. It's huge. That's what you actually meant to say? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. That's I'm, weird. I'm still like... I just don't, be, I don't feel comfortable sitting in a room with you when you're talking about porn. This hasn't stopped you before. Uh, well, yes. It has? Actually, yes. Well, this is the last episode I'll ever be doing. <laughs> No, I mean, yeah. If you keep talking about porn. Right. I'll get replaced by Lamar. He's a great producer. You should consider talking to him. Why do you want to sit in a room? Uh, I, don't, you know what? I don't watch that stuff. Okay, good. Not since like, what? what's today? It's Thursday, right? Ish? I don't know. Since Tuesday. It's mm. a couple minutes. God. Wow, this just took a turn. It is. I'm going to end it right there. I don't think it should go any further. All right. That's the end of your list? Yeah, that's all I've got. That's all your wife hates about you? No, that list is really long. I mean, it is really long. <laughs> We've gotten into arguments about how to do yard work. Have you ever... That's never happened to you? This is intriguing. So, my wife very much hates it when I try she to take... a horticulturist? Contr- culturalist? My wife is... culture? Is that the word? My wife has a PhD level education. In what? Pharmacy. Pharmaceuticals. She's what they call a PharmD. All right. Highly okay. educated, very regimented. Is she a pharmacist? She is. Good and for she's her. yeah, she's got awesome. Yeah, she's she knows all kinds of things. It's pretty impressive. Her, I, what she knows about the medical world blows me away. Okay. But she very much likes it. Does she when, administer flu shots for you? No. No. She's never done that. Oh. Wow, well, I hear magic fairies going off in my ear. And uh Okay. But she's regimented. Everything has to have Okay. A process. Everything has to be followed. Through. She'd be a great employee here because you know she's got processes for everything. Nepotism. <laughs> but when I when I do work in the yard, uh, I'm kind of like just grab those and kind of move it over there. We'll dig a hole and we'll just bury the tree in a place and it'll really? look good. Yeah, why not? I'm siding with your wife on this one. And it just drives me nuts. She's like, why don't you don't follow anything? You're not paying attention to what's going on. You know, maybe you put that near a water line. It's too close to the electrical box. You know, all these things. It's like, just throw it in the ground. What are you doing out there? Just throw it in the ground. Dig the hole. And apparently that drives her up a wall. She's right. No, she's not. She you can just a, push it in the wall she anywhere you want is to. a hundred percent right. Oh God. I didn't know you were going to start taking sides on this one. When you say dumb things. It's yes. not dumb. No, it's just you go with the flow, man. No. You go with the flow. There are things you go with the flow on. Yes, like right? putting like stuff I, in the yard and, and how to start a fire or when you're camping where to put the tent or how to put the, 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 the all the dishes in the – she has, like all the cups have to go in one particular cupboard. I don't. Yeah, I don't need to do that. You know, or all the plates in one side, but you know, just go with the flow. It'll get put away. Just wash it. We're back. Just, it'll be fine. Yeah. I don't or know. washing the stuff. You know, can't wash jeans in hot water or something like that. Oh, yeah, I don't with do the that. other colors. I but the dishwasher thing though. Yeah. For me, it's there's when things are on the bottom, they have yes. to be able to withstand more than when they're on the top. Yeah, and I don't put the glass down there, and right. You know, you put them up at the top, but. Apparently, she hates the way that yeah. I do yard work. Uh, if, I, if I loaded the dishwasher, my wife would not unload it and reload it. Why not? Because that's not something that bothers her. But it does bother me that you don't have a plan on how you take care of your yard. The neighbors love it. I just put things in I'm haphazardly, sure they love it. randomly, grasses here and there, about <laughs> six feet tall. I'm like, let's just block it's the front artistic. door so no it's people can artistic. see it. It's free flow, man. It's very artistic. You just feel it. So you know? clearly you do not live in a nature oh. way. Oh, I, I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> what do you do when you get letters from the HOA? <laughs> How do you know I've gotten letters from the HOA? Because you just told a story. So what well, do you do when you get letters from the HOA? Generally, I dig everything back up, mm-hmm. and either it dies mm-hmm. or we put it in another spot okay. where she's like, you should have put it here in the first place. Okay. That's I all. got a letter from the HOA once. Yeah, what did it say? Um, they, 
This is something my wife hates. <laughs> this is actually something she hates. Somebody sends me a letter. Yes. And this was the stupidest letter that I've read Ever. from okay. an HOA. Okay. And I've read some dumb letters. Oh, yeah. There's this some stuff that comes across that you're like, oh. Okay. So they sent me a notice that said I was in violation of the parking restrictions in the neighborhood. How so? Because the rule is you must first fill your garage with cars, then fill your driveway with cars before you can use the space on a public street, street. to park. You're kidding. I'm not kidding. I that have is the, like, the, the note. dumbest of the dumbest I've ever heard. So one of these freaking losers who works at the HOA, right? This is like that kid in high school that... Like, Aren't they voted in? Who votes? For, they, they have their freaking voting is on like weekdays when normal people <laughs> are working. working right? It's Monday at 2 after this the, is the This is the only time in these freaking losers' lives where they have any semblance of power or authority. And they just <laughs> like take it to the tens. <laughs> so she sends this note. Yes. Right? Uh-huh. And it has a picture. This freaking lady drove around the it drove around the neighborhood in That's a, their job, in a yeah. piece of crap car mm -hmm. and was taking pictures yep. of cars parked in the street mm -hmm. against your house mm -hmm. and then sending you a notification. Would they going that, to fine you? That you... I was in violation I if see. it continues to happen and it yes. comes with a fine. Really? If you would like to challenge this, you know, ruling or whatever right. it was, you have 21 days in writing. Oh. I did it in half a freaking second. <laughs> <laughs> Dear you are, HOA. By the way, the letter is in the mail, right? I'm responding in an email. I want my hearing. So, number one, that car that was parked in front of my house. Yes. I would like for you to prove that the person who owns it lives in, in my, my house. house. I would like for you to prove that the person who drives it, right, yeah. was actually there to see me, right? I would like for you to prove that there's some law anywhere on the books that says you can Camp restrict parking, parking a public in a public street. Yes. How did it go? I won, <laughs> and they rescinded the rule. I won. That's awesome. I tell... No. I said to my wife, <laughs> I was like, look, this is not okay. And she goes, why are you getting so upset? And I go, because, you know, number one, F them. Number two, <laughs> right... How are they going to enforce this? Right. Because so you don't know. You, so, you mentioned the big three. You don't so know anything. They're going to send me a fine. Yeah. I'm not paying that fine. So no, then what are they going to do? They're going to lean send on me, your house. They're going to send me another fine. Yeah. I ain't paying that one either. Then what are they going to do? They're going to send those fines to collection. Yes, they are. Who's going to show up? A collector. Yep. Right? I ain't paying that. Who shows up after that? Usually they put a lien police. on the house. Police. They'll and send are, the police. I've never police, gotten that far. What do police carry? Guns. So you're going to enforce a law that doesn't exist Yes. when you take it all the way to the end. This is why we don't talk about politics, Josh. Because <laughs> when you take it all the way to the end, the only way you can enforce that is at the end of a gun. Right? <sighs> this is why I don't like the government. <laughs> well, you just and I don't like people, in that direction. And I don't like people mm. who use their pathetic authority in an to, HOA. Tell, to tell me yes. that I can't have Park. cars parked in front of my house. Well, the HOA would tell you, you just shouldn't have bought a house in this if, HOA. If you would like to tell me that I can only plant certain types of trees in the oh, front of my do. house, they do. fine. They do. I will plant they those do. stupid trees in the front of my right. house, right? Yes, they do. That's fine, okay? Because I also understand the value of having that guy, you know, you, who has a freaking RV on blocks oh. in your front yard. Because that one is totally banned. I that, couldn't. Because you know, I, yeah, I would prefer I not to live next I to that guy. I get that one. Right? right. So there's value in sort of a neighborhood covenant. Yes. Even like the ugly paint colors that or any of that stuff. thing, that letter that she sent me, yeah. right? I went from zero to a thousand. Like that. that. Yeah. That's something my wife doesn't like. Really? No. Because... It doesn't matter what it is. I mean, I can't, I, I, I can't watch politics on TV because I go from zero to a thousand just oh, like that. Yeah. Because our better, our, our overlords, our betters. Yes, right? no better First than us. First of all, right? I, I knew you in high school. You were a moron in high school. I'm not interested in listening to you now. No, right. You've got a little bit of authority and you right? shouldn't be wielding it. Exactly. How about you work for the government? Your job is to leave everyone alone. 
You let to them the do least, their own stuff. You're taking it here. To be the least here. intrusive as possible. YouTube's going to hate you now. Fine. I'm, no, I'm not making a comment. You can, I don't care what your political affiliation is. I'm just saying, why, why do you have to... Why, you're, you're part of an HOA board. God, I hate you them, literally too. drove but around the board. neighborhood and, and took, took pictures, pictures of your car of that you don't cars, even know who they are. Right? So when my neighbor has a party, you yeah. can send me a fine? Right. I don't think you thought this through, <laughs> Bianca. <laughs> by, the way, already. <laughs> by the way, <laughs> Bianca doesn't work at the HOA anymore. Ooh. Shocking. Wow. Zero to a thousand. Wow. Like that. You f- it only mm. experienced me at like 12. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which, you know, if it ever gets to a thousand, that's when I know <laughs> I hit a nerve. <laughs> right, yeah. The producer just said, you should run. We've seen him that way. Oh, actually, yeah. I don't think anybody here has actually seen you at a thousand. Have they? Here? Yes. No. No. I was going to say, I, Keith usually comes in and he's, uh, Keith has been always pretty calm. <laughs> <laughs> at least around me. Uh, of course, That's true. I've never been behind the doors of any meetings. Anyway. I mean, yeah. 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 I mean, there are, there are kind of like, there are rules. Right. You do a pretty good job. Thanks. You haven't made me cry. Well. <laughs> Day's still fresh. Day is still early. Well, thanks for coming out. This is a lot of fun. Good. I, mean, I don't know if you like being here with me, but, you know. I think the interesting thing is yeah. I, I did a, a guest appearance yesterday. Yeah. I know we're running out of time. But we were talking about sports, and yeah. by the time I was done, I was like really, really fired up. Oh, yeah, I could tell. I could see it in your eye. I mean, when you start, yeah, <laughs> especially I, with parents. And then, and, and then I went into an interview, yeah. and the guy was like, he was, he was very nice. Yes. Right? Um, but I, I was asking him questions, and he, and he was giving me interview answers. Right? Yeah. So there's, like, not a lot of specificity. And that, sure. and that I understand. Standard, right? right? Because what's the job? Well, but you also don't know. Yeah. Right? You don't know everything about the company, right? And, it, sure. and some of those questions are kind of hard, and most people yeah. don't think about it. So, so I was asking questions, and then finally I was just, he asked me a question, like, what makes you tick? And I went to, like, 11. <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> And people in the room were... Because you can be intense, man. You can be room, intense. Yeah. So I was very intense. Right? Yeah. And I was like talking about Rocky. Yeah. And I was just like, I, I want to win all the time. I mean, I went to like 11. You were, and, oh, man. You I went with the Rocky was, example from the show? I knew I was Dude. doing it. I knew I was doing it. But I was, I was in that mode. Yeah. Because I was telling stories about being an athlete and, you know, yes. and having conversations. And, and Elise had asked me a question about... You know the nicknames and yeah, and yeah. that that you know that friendship and that bond and so I was like in that. Environment. I don't think that guy's gonna accept the job. Uh, right did you scare him off? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> if you can't handle me at eleven, you won't handle him at twelve. Exactly, because there's a big difference. <sighs> Guys, thanks so much for listening to an episode, another episode of My Wife Hates This Broadcast. First, I'd like to thank everyone who helps make this possible, starting with the guy who sits next to me. Keith, thanks for being out there yeah. and looking out for everybody. I'd like to also thank my producer, Lamar, for sitting out back there making all of the buttons flash and all of the things move up and down. I'd like to thank Pin Business Network for giving me a place to actually talk about the things that my wife hates. Do check us out on our social media. Head over to ourcommunitynow.com. Look for everything we do. we got podcasts, media, morning updates. Check it out. We're all over YouTube, the socials. If you're on Facebook, follow us there. I'm Josh Hamling from My Wife Hates This, along with... And we'll see you next time. Do the icky shuffle, please. <laughs>